Hello and welcome. So this week, let me share with you a tip about filling a liquid transmission cell when the path length is small and your sample is a little more viscous. So earlier, I used a 25 micron path length cell. And just to put this in perspective, that's about half of a thickness of a human hair. So when you have a thicker sample, in this case, it was thicker than oil, but thinner than say syrup. And the sample was aqueous. So I needed that small path length cell. So, so let me show you how to fill a cell and give you a tip when that sample is a little more viscous. When I'm filling a liquid transmission cell, I'll use two two millimeter syringes. One will be empty and the other will contain the sample. To fill the cell, simply pull on the empty syringe and this will create a pressure differential that will pull your sample through the cell. Now if I'm using a very small path length cell like I did recently, it was a 25 micron cell, the sample was thin instead of using the two two millimeter syringes I used one two millimeter syringe and my empty syringe was a five millimeter syringe so now when I pulled on my empty syringe to fill this five millimeter syringe created a bigger pressure differential to pull the sample through now don't ever use two five millimeter syringes because there's not enough base here thanks for watching this week and we'll see you next time